Hello and welcome. I'm Steel Walrus, and you are awesome. So today I figured we'd take kind of a look at husbandry. Uh, basically stuff like procuration and whatnot, getting hides and dung and whatnot. Stuff you need for various things around your village in Life is Feudal. Anywho, um, so we'll start with probably the most basic form of husbandry. Um, besides hunting, but we won't really go into hunting. Uh, it's kind of a whole nother ballpark. Ballpark? Uh, you know what I mean. Thing. The whole nother thing. Anywho. So, also, I apologize if the quality is not stunning, but I had to set the settings kind of low to, uh, to get the file for this video down to a manageable size. Anywho, so the first thing you want to do is create a snare. And you do that just like you make any other uh, tool or anything in Life is Feudal. Go into your inventory when you have sticks and uh, the other ingredients, which we'll see shortly. Wow, I just stuttered a lot on that. My apologies. Uh, but you go down to hunting as opposed to artisan. And you go create a snare. Now you need two branches, 10 wild plant fiber, and uh, one apple. Now I assume you know how to get all of these things already. So I'm just going to make one. Uh, that will do perfectly fine for the purposes of this demonstration. And we're going to set it. Now, I do a thing sort of for luck, um, where I, I go and I because I don't know if it actually works. Well, that's not what I was going to do. But you want to, uh, like, track a peaceful animal, for example. And uh, it looks like there's something up that way. Probably a boar. And, um... Anywho, I try and set the snares on those tracks. But anywhere kind of in the woods generally works. And, uh... After a while, you'll want to check them every once in a while. And always remember where they are. You don't have indicators or anything. I I have the grass turned off for video purposes. Uh, but it also helps to help locate your snares effectively and quickly. Um, anywho, once it's like this, you see here it's up as opposed to flat. You click on it. And you receive whatever it is. It could be a chicken or it could be a hare. And it'll come in this, this form like a title. Now, you can slaughter it if you need the food and ingredients immediately. But, if you're really going to get into husbandry, uh, you'll want to put it in a coop. Now, coops are built through construction. That's a whole other thing. You, uh, you put it in the coop with the other chickens, and you make sure to put food. Um, they'll eat pretty much anything that is able to be put in here. Uh, but there are certain favorites and stuff. I'm not exactly certain of them. I think grain and stuff is the best for, like, chickens. And, uh, cattle, whereas pigs like apples, horses, or maybe, like, carrots. Maybe... I can't remember specifically, like I said. Um, but there are specific kinds of food that are the most effective. Now, if you engage in a little bit of selective breeding, you can get these up from... 70 quality, like I've got these, or even lower, to 100 quality. Um, it really depends on your skill and the food that you feed them, uh, the quality of that food. So you want to make sure to have high quality crops and whatnot, uh, which, again, can be done through sort of selective uh, selective breeding. Um, if you're not feeling familiar with what that is, uh, look it up. It's basically man-made Darwinism. Um... Just take whatever one is the highest quality, and you make sure that that's the one that breeds. Anywho, um, so there's that. Now, if you slaughter one of these, you'll get feathers, bones, and stuff like that. Um, and every once in a while, a new one will be born. But, for the rest of this video, we're going to go over to the hair coop. Now, as you can see, I've had quite a few of them be born, which is nice. I'm going to pick an older one. 
Uh, that is um, lower quality than what I'm looking for, which in this case is a seven-year-old or age seven. It's not years, probably days, more like um, hair with a quality of 70, and I'm going to slaughter it. Uh, one thing real quick, though. Uh, let's let's hop back to this coop. Uh, always check this. Cattle and chickens and sheep uh, produce a harvest. With chickens, it's eggs. With cattle, it's milk. With sheep, it's wool. Pretty straightforward. So anytime that you see that this is being filled up, you can click harvest and you'll get eggs or wool or milk, depending on what animal it is. Of course, uh, sheep and stuff like that go in a barn. Right now, I've just got pigs and a boar. So they're breeding and stuff, which is nice. I can actually slaughter this pig. That might be what I do for this video, because I kind of need to, to ensure that the pigs that I do get are higher quality. Uh, cattle go in a barn. I don't have any cattle right now. They're a pain to, uh, to tame. But uh, that might be part two of this video. Anyhow, um, what am going to do? Okay, I'm not going to slaughter any, any rabbits. No real need to. Now, pigs produce a lot of crap. And, um, they eat a lot. But they also produce pork and plenty of bones and hide. We're going to slaughter one of them. Now you see here that we've hit that slaughter button. And you need your, uh, I think it's your procuration or your animal lore. Uh, up pretty well to handle this. But that's not, you know, a big deal. You just press L and you'll see... Uh, when you go down here to animal lore, what you actually need to do different things. So, uh, barn animals like like that, like pigs and whatnot, uh, that's level 30. So cattle and whatnot, uh, cattle and horses specifically, you can do um, at level 60. And then you need 90 for large stables, and large stables are for like war horses. Well... Uh, regular horses. You can't breed um, war horses there. Uh, I can't remember the, the geldings, I think. Um, that's where they've been neutered or spayed. Anywho, um, so here's another thing. If you want to breed animals, there's this little, little rather whimsical button uh, with a sheep on another sheep because... Why not? And you drag a male and a female, the two that you want to breed, and you put them in there, and they will breed. Um, otherwise, it'll just sort of happen incidentally. Like, it'll just randomly occur. Um, and there you go. Now, I've got my pelt. I've got bones and stuff. I can make bone glue. This is good for, like, sausage. This is good for making bacon. And, uh, Various other things here and there. So. Now I've already kind of got some stuff prepared for us. But what we want to do is we want to go over to this drying frame. And go to procuration. Dry hide. Big hide. And that will take about an hour. Depending on the server. It could be an hour. It could be 30 minutes. Just however it's been set up. Uh, once it's done. You go over to it again. And it'll tell you, you know, if it's not done here in the system, if it has more time and about how much time it's got. Now, I've got a thin dried hide. Now, this is from a hare. So, now what I need to do, go to the tanning tub. Well, I actually need to pull stuff out of the tanning tub. Um, and I've got uh, flax fibers. Because you actually use this to make uh, flax, which you then spin into rope. Um, but we're going to do this. We're going to put it in there. And that'll take about an hour. Now we're going to pick up again with this. So we've got lots of flax fibers. Now that's more into tailoring and some other crafting stuff. So I won't really hit that in this video. I don't have anything to put in there currently. Um, now you may be wondering how to, uh, what's the word, 
get animals tamed? And that is a good question. What you need to do, now this is definitely where you need to go with your hunting skill. You want to track a peaceful animal, unless you just have a good idea as to where one might be. Um, hopefully that's not a moose. I'm going to hop on my horse here and cut away. And I will let you know, well, I won't have to let you know, you'll just sort of see it. Um, when I get back, and I'll show you how taming works. Alright, so basically what I did was I followed these tracks on my horse, because I have a horse, but you can do it on foot, it's no big deal. Um, and now, in this will take me less time because I'm in GM mode and I've got my skills set up to where I can do tutorials conveniently for myself. Um, but it won't work 100% of the time for you guys, just so you're aware. Um, but you want to get to where you can tame. This is a sow here. What I did was I just clicked on it. Okay, well she ran off. But I got close enough to right click like tame and get some high quality foods and there you go now that will not work a hundred percent of the time and again certain animals have specific things that they prefer uh, so please keep that in mind but uh, that's how you do the animals that actually get out and about like uh, boar and sheep and uh, cattle and horses. Actually, I got both of my horses by going out and taming them. And you don't have to do anything special to horses after you tame them, unless you want to turn them into war horses. Uh, in which case you need a training field. But again, that's a slightly different ball game uh, that's not really going to be covered in this tutorial. Uh, anywho, if you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments. Uh, go ahead and like this video if you found it helpful or enjoyable. And uh, subscribe because I've got a lot more tutorials coming out. And I also have a lot of other, in my opinion, pretty awesome content on my channel.